Welcome to the Wandering Soup Podcast. It's been two hot minutes since our last one for various reasons. The main one being life, right? Absolutely. Yep, life has been what it's been. So anyway, as always, I am Kat. And I'm Amber. And we are here, so let's get to it. Uh, we've been married for seven whole months. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> seven whole months. I mean, I don't know about y'all, but that's an anniversary. So, um, you know, we thought, you know, we're not experts by any means. Um, we're learning every day what it means to be a wife to a wife. Mm-hmm. Um, but we wanted to share some things and to have a brief discussion about Marriage and what we've learned thus far. A lot. A lot. You mm-hmm. learned a lot? Yeah. Okay. All right. We'll see. We shall <laughs> see. So, we have some questions. We're going to talk with each other and see how it goes. A little conversation, if you will. Uh, but welcome, as always, to the Wondering Suit Podcast. If you aren't following us, you need to be following us on everything. YouTube is Wondering Soup. IG is wandering underscore soup. Facebook is wandering soup. And you can also find us on our blog, www.wonderingsoup.com. That's three W's, by the way. But anyway, let's start out with the first question about marriage. Whew. Seven months? Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. Do you think being ready for a marriage has more to do with age or experience, Amber? I think um, a combination of both. A combination of both. Um, but it obviously it depends on the person. Um, I would have to say, for me, it's definitely been experience. Um, I mean, I'm, I certainly have some age on me at this point. But, um, yeah, I think you have to go through some things before you can really even see yourself um, in a healthy marriage. I didn't see it for a long time. It took me a while to, to, to just see myself in it. And I think it took um, becoming close to it um, in past relationships and then just gaining a certain kind of a, a love and acceptance of myself. And that's, that takes a while. Sure. I'm going to uh, co-sign that. I think the experience, I've been married before, um, and I was horrible at it. Um, I'll be the first to admit that. Doesn't bother me at all. Um, mainly because I shouldn't have been there. But yeah, experience for me was the, the key teacher. I've learned a lot about myself, how I love, how I need to be loved, and how I can give love. Uh, but most importantly, I learned what love was for me. I wasn't raised in an environment um, where I saw healthy love. And so my first marriage definitely cemented that to me and my next relationships or the few relationships after that I always went back to that um, but it did take a minute for me to recognize that you, you think you're doing the best that you can do when reality of it is, is you don't know because you know you don't know what love is and you don't you've never seen like I said a healthy example of it so well it might have been the best you can do with what you have at the time the best you can do with what you know. Right, but I didn't know a lot. Right, you didn't. You I didn't know, know enough. So I, I, I should have known enough not to get married the first time. Um, and I've been engaged a couple of times because I thought I was ready. But um, this marriage has taught me that I really wasn't ready before then either. So, yeah. you got a question for me? I do, I do. Um, do you think that, do you think that we as lesbians actually marry too quickly or is that just a myth. Do we actually marry too fast, like faster than most people? Well, <clears throat> we just got, you know, we can be married legally now, so um, I'm going to say no. I think that that's a myth that we like to perpetrate because it's easy to perpetrate because we move in quick. In the past, the only thing you could do was move in. Mm-hmm. So now that we don't have that barrier of a legal marriage, I think we are seeing people living together for a few years and then getting married, um, which is normal. And, and, and straights or heteros uh, meet on a Monday and get married on a Friday all the damn time. Uh, we are human, right? Yeah. We are women. 
and we are emotional at times, and we do what everybody else you do and does. So I'm gonna say no. Okay. What you think? I mean, I don't know. I have I have examples of both, so I can't really say that that we always marry quickly because I know people who've been together for years, and like you said, until you know, and then when when it became legal to actually be married. It still took a while before right. they actually, you know, got married because it really didn't matter. You know, right. it, was, it was like this is what we're doing, um, because because this is what we want to do. So yeah, I, I can't really side one way or the other with that. Yeah. It's a myth. I tried it. <laughs> I've decided for it. But the Williams household, it's a myth. Mm-hmm. Exactly. <laughs> so another myth. I guess this could be considered a myth. Do we marry for stability or love? Ma- you know what? Let's leave this. Switch it up. Did you marry for stability or love? See how I cornered you with that question? I see. You should see her face, y'all. Uh, see her face. <laughs> cool and collected all the time. Um, uh, I would have to say, I have to say love because honestly, at this point in my life, I, you know, and whether you want to, whether it's a pessimistic way of thinking or not. I mean, I just don't think that there's anything in life that's guaranteed. You know what I mean? Like, there's just nothing that's guaranteed. There's nothing that's truly, like, at least for me, as a tourist, as a very practical person who likes stability, um, I, you know, I just have come to the realization in life that there's nothing that gives you that. There's nothing that gives you um, anything like that in the way that uh, maybe you would like. So, anything like that, what do you mean? Um, Stability? like there's nothing that's really like guaranteed you know in life nothing is um but also being the practical person that I am I mean I would not have married someone that um I couldn't trust I wouldn't marry someone I couldn't trust and um that I just didn't understand so I guess there's a certain obviously a certain amount of stability comes with that but yeah um yeah more love yeah definitely love (laughs) I mean, I agree. I, I didn't need stability from you. So, I already had stability. I did my own stable home and environment. So, I just wanted to add some love to the mix. So, in our instance, we married for love. So, if you marry for stability, more power to you, mm-hmm. sis. Or, bruh. Whatever. <laughs> you know, do what works for you. You'll get to where you're trying to be. And, um, I guess you got the next question. Yeah. Uh, actually, pursuant to that question. Um, pursuant. I know. Ooh, right. that's, a, that's a good word. Because um, I think people, this is, um, yeah. But I think people think, too, that when you marry, you settle. Like, somehow you're settling. Um, do you feel like you're settling? Or do you feel like a marriage is settling, is truly settling down? Is that what that means? Hmm. Settling. I don't think I settled. Um, I did settle down. Yeah, uh-huh. I, I'll go with settle down. But our version of settle down is to leave the country. Right. I was going to say, how much settling down is that really? Right. But it's it's eliminating or eliminating uh, the dating scene um, and doing all of that. I guess would be you know like now on a Friday night, nine times out of ten, we're on the couch, and I'm very comfortable with that. I'm a, I'm a Taurus who loves her home. And her couch, right? Mm-hmm. I love my couch. And uh, but this Friday it's night market, so no thing. Oh no, Friday. It's serious. Oh, sorry. See? Cause I gotta pick up my mom. <laughs> and so, yeah, I um, I don't uh, settling is a uh, everybody has different definitions, but ours is definitely not textbook. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah, it doesn't feel like settling down to me. Marriage, our marriage doesn't feel that way. I can see how it could be, but our marriage doesn't feel that way to me. It feels but like I, I like movement. the, I like the routine of our life, though. Yeah, but I'm saying yes, that's true. Like our daily routine, but I just mean as far as like what life has brought to what has what our marriage has brought into my life. To me, it doesn't. I don't know. We need a totally not turn each other for a loop. Here. Right. It's been if know. anything. It's been a lot of movement and changing. And Oh, totally. You moved here yeah. with the kids. We've adjusted to that. They've started school. Um, you started your business. Right. I've quit my job. I started 
to other business ventures and we're relocating. Yeah. There's no settling over here. No. Though. If anything, I was more settled before. Oh, definitely. <laughs> exactly. Definitely. Definitely. I will give you that. I will give you that. I will give you that. So. All right. So do I tackle the next question then? Or you yeah, want whichever, it? Yeah, whatever. You take it. Um, actually, I'm going to go ahead and go with, um, do opposites really attract? And I'll be opposite. Hmm. I think opposites can attract. Uh, and there's an energy for that. Um, I don't think that you and I are inherently similar. We are baseline similar, which is interesting to me. Because, and, and, and I, I check it like when we watch weird stuff on TV that I really think is, uh, most people will find very boring. And we will sit there engrossed for hours in weird shit, right? That's true. And, and I'll be like, oh, I know you like this. You're like, yeah. <laughs> uh, we watched that one on shipbuilding, right? They just put that luxury cruise ship. We sat there and we were fascinated, you know. And I had to want to watch it, but I just knew she wouldn't want to watch it. And so when I turned it on, she's like, oh. Okay. <laughs> and we sat there. And then she had to get up for a second. She's like, you going to pause it? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we talked through the entire program. And we, and then we looked it up because it, it was already built by this point. Mm-hmm. And we were pricing it and debating if we were going to try to do it one day. I know. You know? Yeah. It was amazing. Yeah, it was. For some people, they're probably like, okay, that sounds like watching paint dry. Right. But no, it was really fascinating. Like, like really, really fascinating. And then we watched that animal show. It's about the shark. Yeah, wasn't that great? Go in the sperm water. Oh, uh-huh. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> Don't awesome. go in the sperm water. Right. <laughs> if there's still floating on the top, that's not for you. It's not for you. Uh, yeah, so I thought that was cool. Yeah. yeah. No, that is true. I saw um, something that somebody said, like Netflix and um, should, should create a dating app that says, you know, that mix, matches you with people who've been watching the same thing on Netflix mm-hmm. you've been watching. Like, that's so real. Because if you think about it like that, like, we definitely will sit and watch the same thing for hours. 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 <laughs> I think nothing about it. And talk through the whole thing, too. Yeah. We both are talkers through shows, too, which is good. That's true. So we are similar. I don't think we're total opposites. I don't think we're exactly in line, though, either. No. No, we're not. I, I We were just talking about this last night. So I do think we're very different in some ways, but... In complimentary ways, mm-hmm. for sure. Um, yeah, for sure, in a good way, because I need your, I need your strength where you're strong, and um, and oh, vice versa. Sure. So yeah, I'm a visionary. She says, I think yeah. big picture, and she thinks details, and so that works for us. Yeah, it absolutely works. I have no problem with it. So I guess I'll tackle the next one. Um, do you think that when people get married, they marry their best friend? Or does that person become their best friend? Yeah, um, the whole marry your best friend thing. I mean, um, yeah, I don't think in general we marry our best friend. Like, I don't, I just don't, I don't think most, I think most people have a friend who they consider their best friend, um, or whatever, even before they meet their mate, you know, or mm-hmm. their future spouse. So it doesn't necessarily make that person you marry now your best friend. I mean, obviously, there was someone else who held that position. So um, I think that person can become that or become one of your best friends, for sure. Like, for sure. That's, I think that that certainly can happen. And it depends on the marriage, obviously. But, um, yeah, I, don't, I just don't think that's necessarily a thing. People say, I marry my best friend. That's cool. that's cool. I just don't think that's necessarily the case for everybody. I think it's um, weird. I wouldn't want to marry my best friend. I think there should be a separation of church and state. Uh, and my best friend is the person I go and vent to about the state. So why would I want to take away that area? And and also to tell her, you know, but to tell her when there's things are great between me and my wife, of course. So, but you need that. And I think if you marry your best friend and things go south, what do you do then? Your best friend walked away along with your marriage. Um, so you're floundering a little bit. Um, I think... We as humans just need more than that. And, and and I'm not saying that my wife won't eventually be one of my close friends. Uh, she's a friend now, but she's not my friend. She's my wife. She's my lover. You know, we're friendly. 
and shit. But I don't, I don't even think of you as a friend, though. That's such a weird connotation to me. Um, you're so many more things beyond friend. Um, and I'm very intimate in my friendships. Like, my friendships, I really, I value them. I, I love the hell out of them. But there's a line there. And uh, you and I didn't even go into that realm of a friendship, you know, no, that's the popcorn and shit. Ah, yeah. But that's true, but I guess, and I guess some people do. Like, some people may start off as friends and then get married. And, the, and then in which case, it kind of makes sense. But you're right, we didn't start off that way. Yeah. We didn't true. start off as friends. And then, yeah, and, and if I put you in a friend zone, I don't want to date you. I just don't even see how that's possible, you know? Um, well, I don't know. I think people can be friends for a while and then... At some point, they go, oh, you know, I, you know, I actually loved you all this time or whatever. Mm-hmm. I, I, Not me. I, I, <laughs> I can see how it could happen. Not me. Because if I want you, I want you. Mm-hmm. And that's just all there is to it. So I'm like, you know. Yeah. If I want to sex you up. Yeah, it's kind of like when I'm, you know, like once I'm not, once I don't want someone anymore, like I don't. So, and it's kind of the yeah. same thing. Like if I've already decided that. I don't, then I really, really don't. Right. So there's, no, <laughs> there's no coming back from that. So that's why I'm like, nah. You won't wake up 20 years from now and like, you get a text from me going, I think I'm in love with mm-hmm. you. Nah. <laughs> not going to happen. Not going to happen. All right. And the last question. Did you always know, Amber, that you get married? Ah. Uh, um. I think when I was young. When I was young and naive, um, I think I did. I did. I think I did think I would. When I was like really young, like teenager, mm-hmm. um, and probably because you know that's just what you think. And I and I grew up in a you know two parent household, so it was probably just part of my programming to think, oh, I'll get married too. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? If I just will happen, like. Um, but as I got older, I doubted it. Like I didn't. I I didn't think that I would. I was like, I don't know if I'm really the marrying type. Um, so I thought that way for a, a really long time, but mostly because I just didn't think um, that there was really anyone that was like a match for me. It wasn't, mm-hmm. yeah, it wasn't anything against like the world or, or anything against myself. I just thought, oh, you know, I'm kind of weird <laughs> and I just don't know if, you know. If that's if that other person is out there for me, so and I was okay with that, you know, I was fine with it. I just because it was kind of like, yeah, I just don't know if that really exists. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, for a long time I didn't. Mm-mm. Interesting. Mm-hmm. I have been married, of course. Mm-hmm. So I got married at nineteen uh, to a great guy. I'm holding up the black power mm-hmm. fist right now that mm-hmm. you can't see, but he's a good guy. Um, like I said, I wasn't. Uh, the best person to be married to, um, just because I was young and dumb and, and really, really selfish. But I always um, thought that I would get married. That just was never a barrier for me. My problem with marriage was that I didn't think I was going to be good at it. Um, I've, I've been engaged quite a few times, and I found people, wonderful people in my life. I don't date um, bombs. You know, so I always had quality people in my life, whether it worked out or not. Um, they still were good people. Just may not have been right for me. Or I've also believed that um, people are not put in your life forever. So it was seasonal for some of those people. You just have to recognize when that season ends and it's time to move forward. Um, so in that regard, yeah, I always thought I'd get married. Um, when I met Amber, or right before I met Amber, I think I was transitioning into knowing that I would get married. And so when we met, I was like, I'm not dating to date. I'm dating to find my wife. Uh, and if you're not interested in that, then that's fine. Now let's move you quickly and politely over to the friend zone. Even though she did hit me up for a uh, fuck buddy status relationship. What? Yes, you did! What? Yes, you did! The lies she tells. Oh, oh, you know I got receipts. 